Have you ever tried to do a hard thing? I went to the 8th grade leadership camp for three days a few weeks ago and our theme was do hard thing. I did many hard things in there and in all of that the hardest thing for me was walking through a single log bridge that is five meters high. I had to climb a five meters high pole, walk to the middle of the bridge and give a high five to my partner and we could also choose to cross over each other if possible. It was our turn to go on the log and I was very nervous, like right now. And my hands kept shaking as I walked through, as I climbed up the pole, I didn't really trust the person who was holding my rope. For me, that was also one of the hard things, trusting the person who was holding my rope. For, I stopped climbing up after one meter and I stayed in there with my empty brain for 30 seconds. Then I started to climb up again. My partner was already there waiting for me when I arrived on the bridge. I looked down and I was far away from the ground. My legs were shaking so hard that I decided this to sit down. My plan was to go to the middle of the bridge by sitting, but it didn't work well, so I stood up. My feet started sh shaking again as I walked through the bridge and my classmates started to cheer for me and encouraging me. I reached to the middle of the bridge and discussed with my partner if we wanted to go down or go across each other. We decided to go across each other and so I sat on the bridge and my whole body was near to the edge of the bridge. My partner went across behind my back, like this. We did, we successed, we did the hard thing. I felt very accomplished after I did it, even though I was like a sloth doing every step very slowly. What can you get after doing hard things then? First, people say that the good thing about doing hard thing is that you can gain confidence. Like me, I was able to say that I walked through the bridge confidently. And are you going to have any trouble when you do the hard things then? Yes, of course, because you're doing the hard thing. You will face many doubts, fears, and worries as you do the hard thing. Failure can be helpful for building confidence. According to the confidence experts Andy Coley and Joe Wilson, confidence comes from throwing the past and doing the hard thing. In 2010, Mark Angelo, now a very successful businessman, was asked by the CEO of Hospital for Special Surgery in New York to create and implement a program to improve the quantity. He was relatively new to the organization and he wasn't familiar with the principles he needed for his project. So he concerned that what would they think of a young administrator with no hospital experience tell, telling them how to improve quality and increase efficiency? For five months, he struggled with his project and so his confidence suffered. After his success, he said, I was anxious and stressed because I had no idea how I was going to transform the organization. I knew I couldn't do it on my own and it was going to take a collective effort that included our management team and all of our staff. The book author of Start Here Doing Hard Things Right Where You Are, Alex Harris and Brad Harris wrote that, when you do hard things, you need to handle it. You need to keep a level ahead and trying to remember the message you're getting across. You need to have an adventure when you're doing hard things. John Powell, the film composer, said that a person can grow only as much as his horizon allows. Second, you can grow as a person in doing hard things. You, you need to get the knowledge and get out of your own way and allow yourself to be upsetting of things that are outside your norm like people or places. You expand your knowledge of your community, yourself, and the people around you as you do the hard things. People who have growth mindset think that 
think that failure is an opportunity to grow, and their effort and attitudes, attitudes determines their abilities. But fixed mindset people think that failure is the limit of their attitudes, and they are either good at it or not. Doing a hard thing is not just hard for you physically, it can be hard for you mentally sometimes. According to Virginia Steyer, the American author and the therapist, life is not the way it's supposed to be. It's the way it is. The way you cope is what makes the difference. This summer, I had to leave my friends on, in a place where I had lived for my entire life. and. It was very hard for me to accept the living, but I started to find my own ways to cope over with the hard times. I stayed positive and st slowly learned from the difficult times. Staying positive is only a small part of in getting through the hard times, but it is the most important part. According to the Harvard Business Review, many people don't know what they're capable of until they are truly tested things they don't think they can do. I'm sure doing hard things is good for you once you try it and find the best ways for you to cope over it if you have any problems. According to Robert G. Allen, a successful businessman, a fundamental level of success is doing the hard thing first. If you go for the fear thing first, then the rest of the day is going to be easy. Thank you.